Okay, my friends, this is Roger Spur at Mud Fossil University, and I have been proposed, I have been posting about light and energy and mud fossils. And I, and I said, as a result of studying all of the chemistry of the mud fossils, I ended up understanding dark matter. Well, guess what? Now they're talking about dark matter signature could be written in stone. <laughs> and they say there's still, there is no confirmed sighting yet zero just like there's none of the yeti well i don't know about the yeti but i can show you dark matter right now in the next five minutes you'll fully understand dark matter okay unlike normal matter dark matter does not interact it has no interaction whatsoever that anybody has ever known about it does not interact with the electromagnetic force however i have discovered it is gravity this means it does not absorb any any energy it does not reflect any light it does not emit any light it doesn't do anything other than absorb the particles that we consider the normal matter extremely hard to spot not in our experiments now our experiments were tabletop experiments and i sent this to the all of these same people years ago and back in 2018 they they said St step aside cern there's a cheaper way to do the things you're doing, and we can glimpse offering a beyond the standard model exactly what we did. All we were using was little lasers and and uh, venturi, and we we covered all this. I've sent this to the same guys and everything, and I've sent them for years and years to everybody. I went to um, University of Geneva for particle physics, and I gave it to them too. I, could, oh, I don't know five six years ago, and everybody said, ooh, "Ooh, this is interesting," and then that was it. Nobody. It's, it's like they only want to get it for themselves. They don't want it for the openness of science. They want it for to capture it in their own hand. I don't care about that. It means nothing to me now. I'm 72 years old. I couldn't care less. I want reality to be put in the hands of the normal person. All right, now I have a new way of doing this. I may end up arguing with myself, making the points that other people would make against me, and then I will argue back, and it might sound like I'm really getting nasty at myself. <laughs> Sometimes I do. This is pulsed red laser. This is red laser, but, but, but there's a particle, which is this particle, way back here, and it has a magnetic field surrounding it, which creates a wave of magnetic influence as it passes through the air, concussing and illuminating all of the actual gas molecules that have electrons obviously attached to them. So they illuminate as this forces its way through. Now this is that same wave accelerated. Obviously you can see the particle here is accelerating out, pulling itself out of that wave just like a jet fighter going past the sound barrier. And that is the particle, that black and white ball up and down up and down they are two bar magnets back to back one this way and one that way they spin literally spin because the white part concusses with all of the things little dust here in front of it that are, are, are white particles so they concuss and they bang and illuminate but the black ball does nothing whatsoever because guess what the black ball is dark matter when that disassociates itself it still does nothing you see the white turns into white showers. They know this. They see this. They see it at CERN. They have no, no argument about what I'm showing. But they just had no clue that the black ball was attached to the white ball. And the white ball is the electron shower. The black ball is dark matter. And it is also called a muon. What I just showed you before, that's the black ball. That is dark matter. They, they call it a muon. Call it whatever you want. It's dark matter. And the only time you see it is when you have a, such an extreme concussion that you can disassociate it from the white particle, and the white particle becomes a shower, which they also see. They just had no clue they were attached together. They have to step aside and put their attention onto this research because it, it exceeds what they're doing. And at, at Fermilab, they did not do what they claim, capturing this muon. This muon cannot be captured. It has no interaction other than gravity. You can't separate this for more than a instant. Okay, if you think I'm kidding, this goes back to 2016. I had this channel, Mud Space Fossils. I had to close it down because I got attacked so bad for making the statements I was saying. This is the sun. This is a little doodle I made to show how the, the light rays spin. 
and then they smash into our atmosphere which is spinning with our particles and, and it rubs it just like a generator or an electric motor that is where the source of heat comes on our surface of our earth 2700 degrees it comes down it's not trying to escape it's forcing it down doing this carbon dioxide thing is not really the solution we want to stop carbon dioxide because it's blowing up our envelope not because it is a blanket it's just forcing more and more pressure outwards against the incoming particles I showed this extremely clearly now this goes back five years ago and we were done with our research at that time Rod and I now watch this All right, these are particles that were captured by Rod and Warren he's doing the, uh, the experiments but I believe all right, I don't have to go any further because I've shown all the rest. I show all, all the same particles. I show the green particles, the red, the green, and I talk about the wave and the particle being the particle wave duality and how it concusses in the front and glows the particles that are in the air. And I show light spinning as a spinner. It's not, it's not a wave. This is a single slit. It spins. There's the spinning particle. It spins. Sometimes it spins that way. Sometimes it spins this way. Some of them hit over here, some of them hit here, some of them hit here. They go here, they go here, they go there. Some that way, some this way. These separations are repulsion separations because that particle does not want to be against any other white particle. That is a separation pattern. It has nothing to do with interference. And I come down and I show the acceleration, I show the concussion, I show the particles separating, I show everything. And this is, I, that, that was six years ago, and I sent this, I'm not a quiet guy, <laughs> you know, I'm not, you know, I, I sent it to everybody. And I went to the University of Geneva, I sent it to them too, and they said, wow, this is amazing, we'll follow you on YouTube. I said, you're kidding me. I said, nope, that was it. So that's the problem we have. I want to be interacted with. I want to be interacted with. Why can't I be interacted with? What do I have to do to get somebody's attention about these scientific issues? It's absolutely unbelievable. That's about my last word.